the need for FCT residents to embrace safe drinking water, sanitation and hygiene washed as crucial elements to human health and well-being has again been emphasized. It was at a sensitization where stakeholders said the Safe Water Initiative or Safe Wash Initiative is not only a prerequisite to health, but contributes to livelihoods, school attendance and dignity, while at the same time helping to create resilient communities living in healthy environments. Noel Samson has more of the details. According to statistics, in Nigeria, only 26.5% of the population used improved drinking water sources and sanitation facilities. Also, 23.5% of the population defecate in the open. The use of contaminated drinking water and poor sanitary conditions result in increased vulnerability to waterborne diseases, hence the need for desensitization. In terms of sanitation, uh, the FCT is becoming gradually becoming a nemesis where there are quite a lot of reported cases of open defecation, open urination, then even the markets and the motor parks. When you see most of the public places, they are dirty. Uh, they don't uh, oftentimes evacuate, you know, their refuses. So, and as a result of this, we feel that it is time, you know, to sensitize, you know, the communities in Abuja. And before we can do that effectively, we need to engage you know, the critical stakeholders, the ones we call the gatekeepers. And that's why you are seeing us in the palace today, to engage, you know, with the Etsu Kado, so that he can as well talk to different heads of the community. With sanitation of the environment, our, we will not have any disease. If our air, our water, and the food we eat is clean, is in order, is prepared in a healthy situation there will be no disease some of the communities visited appreciated the gesture and promised to keep the environment clean every end of the month of the sanitation we used to go around to make sure the environment is keeping clean and as people have come together today again it's for the people now to go out from this place to go and tell their people that ha ah, those people have come to give chief power again oh Go and clean the environment. I think the end of uh, this Saturday coming now. I think uh, I have a lot of uh, security men that I have, uh, I have, I have, I have organized. If you will, I will appreciate you to come on Saturday. You will see how the work will move in with my people. It is a thing of joy for Sebda to take us along, enlighten us, to encourage us to keep our environment clean. Even though they don't live among us here, but they have decided to come out to enlighten us more on how important it is to keep the environment clean. Personal hygiene and hand washing are critical in the prevention and spread of illness and disease and is critical to healthy and productive society. No, Samson, Trust TV News, Abuja.